On today's show, the Drowsy Chaperone opens this week. A former Staples child star is on The Voice. All this and much, much more. Good, Good morning, morning, Staples. Staples. Good morning, Staples. It is Thursday, March 10th. I'm Jack Sapville. And I'm Reese Armstrong. We have a sensational show for you, but before we begin, can we all just stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To begin our show, we have Matt with the weather. Good morning, Staples. I'm Matthew Elliott with the weather. Today it's going to be really warm and almost hit 70 degrees. On Friday and Saturday, it'll be 55 and be partly cloudy. Bring your umbrellas on Sunday because it's expected to rain. Now back to the host. Thanks, Matt, for your weather report. This Friday, Staples players will bring to the auditorium main stage the Drazzy Chaperone. Up next is a piece by Gavin Berger to tell you much more about the show. Hey Staples, I'm here with Vignesh Namasavai, the president of Staples Players, and Christian Melhuish, the star in the upcoming production of The Drowsy Chaperone. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, yes. So, um, Vic, can you tell us a little bit of what the show's about? Yeah, sure. Um, so the show, The Drowsy Chaperone, is basically about um, this, this old man, um, this Broadway fanatic, who's reflecting on his favorite Broadway show, um, a, a show called the, Bra the Drowsy Chaperone. Um, and he plays a recording of it, and the show kind of comes to life in his apartment. And um, so we get to see a lot of his commentary on it and his thoughts about it um, while the show is actually going on um, live. And Christian plays one of the characters in the show, within the show. So uh, what are each of your favorite parts of the show? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I particularly like the um, blindfold skating. I Yeah, that's that's a pretty great part. I I really like he has a tap number that he does. Um, we have uh, we have a little bit more flying, um, so you got to come see that. There's some fantastic da dance numbers. Um, this is one of the best dance shows I've been involved with during my time here, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Music is a lot of fun, um, and I think that the show in general is just a lot of fun. Um, it's not something too serious at all, uh, and it's not something that you're going to have to you know, be there for long. It's, it's only two hours, um, and I think it's a lot of fun. It's the seniors' last show, and I think everyone should come out to see it. 
So what is the show? Uh, the show is tomorrow, March 11th, uh, Saturday, March 12th, uh, next Friday, March 18th, and next Saturday, March 19th, all at 7.30 p.m., uh, and then there's a 3 o'clock matinee on Sunday, March 14th. All right, well, good talking to you guys. I hope you all come and see the show, Drowsy Chaperone, on those dates. Gonna, sounds like it's going to be a really great show. Now back to the host. Thanks, Gavin. Remember, tickets can be purchased during the lunch waves or online at staplesplayers.com. So don't miss out. It should be a fun show. Up next, Mimi has a PSA for you about a very dirty topic. Hello, Staples. Make sure you clean up after yourself in the Staples cafeteria. It's not the custodian's job to clean up after you. So take a moment, clean up after yourself and your group in the cafeteria. Every year, the seniors gather in the gym for their senior photo, and every year we bring you some highlights of that event. Here's David's piece on the senior photo. Seniors, that photo will mean much more to you someday well after graduation. Thanks to David Q for putting that together for us. This past weekend, the Best Buddies held its yearly fashion show. Here's a report about that event. Last Saturday, we had our Best Buddies annual fashion show silent auction. We raised a lot of money. Here's how it went. It's so depressing, so. 
Looks like everyone had a good time. Staples has had a share of stars. One of our former students was Curly Sue in the movie Curly Sue with Jim Belushi. She was a star performer in Staples Players. Now she is on the TV show The Voice. Up next is a piece about our own Allison Porter. Hey Staples, I'm Gavin Berger. Over the years we've had a lot of successful students come out of Staples High School. One of them in the late 90s was Allison Porter. She starred in Curly Sue and was the youngest person ever to win Star Search. Recently she tried out for The Voice. Let's take a look at that. I feel so bad, got a worried mind I'm so lonesome all the time Since I left my baby behind on Blue Bayou catch up with her from her home in Los Angeles and we decided to ask her why she auditioned for The Voice. Okay, I decided to audition for The Voice because I felt like it would be a really amazing opportunity. Um, I had worked a lot in the past with different producers and managers but for some reason could never really get in the door at the record labels and I felt like this was kind of my last shot to do it. I wanted to do it on a big scale and my husband and I actually had a weird conversation about me auditioning and then I kind of got the opportunity to audition right after. So I kind of felt like it was um, like a little crazy universe weird opportunity for me to be able to do it. We also asked her how her success on Star Search and Curly Sue affected her life. Curly Sue and Star Search definitely affected my life in a major way. Um, Star Search kind of led me to movies. Um, and then movies kind of led me on my path back to what I'm doing now, which is music. Music was always my first love. Um, and I think, you know, having exposure with Curly Sue and kind of staying in the business my whole life really did help me... Um, with preparing for doing something like The Voice now. We asked her what it was like to star in two Broadway shows. Broadway is amazing. I love it so much. It's such a grueling, crazy schedule, but I loved being in a chorus line. It was super important to me and dear to my heart because my mom was actually in a chorus line 30 years prior and played the same part as me. So that's awesome. And finally, we asked her, what are her plans for the future, especially if she has success with The Voice? I hope to continue making music, um, continue writing songs, and just make awesome records from now on. I mean, that's kind of why I did The Voice in the first place. And um, so that's my goal. My goal is to just make really good music and keep putting it out and singing for people, because that's what I love to do. Thanks, Allison, for your responses. In the weeks ahead, we'll let you guys know when she will be appearing on the next Voice episode. Now let's throw it back to the host. Up next is an announcement from the Westport Youth Commission about some discounts from some local businesses. What's up, Staples? We have an announcement from the Westport Youth Commission from Kyle Ratner and Brene Wise. 
Hi, I'm Kyle, the Chairman of the Westport Youth Commission. And I'm Renee, the Secretary of the Commission, and we are the heads of the Student Discount Partnership with the Westport Weston Chamber of Commerce and the Downtown Merchants Association. The Westport Youth Commission is a group of 15 students and 15 adults that advocate for the community's youth and create programs to support our town. This discount program is one of our current projects that allows students at Staples, GFA, or Weston High School to present their student ID at the participating restaurants and receive at least a 10% discount. Some of the businesses include Freshie, Garlic and Herbs, Oscars, Spotted Horse, Sweet Frog, The Granola Bar, and Westport Pizza, and many more. Students who have not picked up their student IDs should see their grade level assistant, and those who have lost their IDs need to see Mrs. Whippick in room 1025J. Many of you may be familiar with the WIC Student Discount Instagram account, which is displayed below, WIC Student Discounts, where you can find many of the participating businesses and more information. You can also find more information and the entire list of, of discount locations on the WIC website. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Commission, applications are now available on our website also. The program officially launched on Tuesday, February 9th, so get out your student IDs and start receiving your discounts. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching Staples. Be sure to use your discount cards at the local businesses to receive discounts. Let's throw it back to the host. In order to use the discount, a student must only present their student ID during the time of purchase. So thank you for that useful announcement. And now it's time for sports. Thanks guys, it's time for sports. I'm Gus McGee. Up first is Johnny's highlights of the girls hockey team. Thanks, Johnny, for that footage. Next up, I put together this announcement about spring tryouts. Good morning, Staples. Today we tune in with Ms. Skutnik in the athletic department for an important announcement about spring sports tryouts. Hi, I'm Mrs. Skutnik in the athletic department, and I'm going to tell you about spring tryouts. Tryouts are going to begin on Saturday, March 19th for all teams. Baseball pitchers and catchers are going to begin on March 14th. In order to participate in any of these sports, you need to register on the Staples High School Athletic website. You need to have a sports physical that's current and on file with the nurse. So make sure you get that done before March 18th so that you can participate on March 19th. Thanks Ms. Skutnik for the important announcement. If you want to sign up for spring sports tryouts, remember to do so before March 18th. If you're a pitcher or a catcher trying out for the baseball team, your tryout starts March 14th. Thanks for watching. Now back to the host. Thanks to Mrs. Gutnick for that important announcement. Well, that's it for the sports portion of our show. We'll throw it back to our host now. Goodbye. Thanks, Gus. Before we go, we have a few announcements for you. The Staples Tuition Grant Scholarship application is available on their website, which is staplestuitiongrants.org. Their application deadline is March 15th. The Women's Club and PAL scholarships are available in the Guidance Office and on the Staples website. The deadline for returning them is March 18th. So that's our show, Staples. Period 8 will be back next Wednesday with their show. Have a great weekend, and we will see you at the Drowsy Chaperone. Goodbye! Bye.